And see you mind your manners at dinner. Andrea, where's my favorite niece? Yeah, favorite niece? Ah, ah. Only niece. How are you, my girl? Is Christmas being excellent to you? Oh, yes. I got chocolate almonds and oranges and nuts and a wine invention and a wine mouse and my best one, rabbit. Oh, boy. Well, there are more presents underneath the tree. I know because I brought them. Ah, uh, Nana. Happy Christmas, Nana. Thank you, sir. Happy Christmas to you as well. Still running the nursery with an iron fist, I see. As I learned to do carrying for you. <laughs> I was a bit of a rascal, wasn't I? Say, Andrea, this is a fine rabbit you have. You know, when I was your age, I had a skin horse. Went with me everywhere, he even slept with me. Seemed real to me, that skin horse. She's still in the nursery, now. Everything remains the same, sir. Oh, I wonder if maybe I could... You're wanted downstairs, sir, and I work to do tidying up, even on Christmas. Yes, of course, I'll Bradley, do... Bradley, Andrea, leave more to do downstairs. Yes, uh -huh. Mother. Rabbit? In the nursery, Andrea. Christmas, always an uproar. So many toys. I wonder they think she needs more.
Yes, Timothy, fine thing being made by disabled veterans. It isn't only that. I can go right to the top. After all, I'm real. So am I, as real as can be. As Skinner was pointed out, I'm being saved for better things than mere play. I'm real, too. Goes without saying. So am I. I must be. I can hear them talking. I'm talking. Who's there? I heard a strange voice. So did I. You didn't think you're a special model boat. Years of preparing, 
plenty of playtime and lots of caring. Nursery magic can open the door to a fantasy kingdom forevermore. To be real is a blessing from the heavens above. It's an honor that you run any day. To be real is the mystery of an innocent love. When it happens, it always new away. Oh no, rabbit! It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't often happen to toys that break easily, have sharp edges, or have to be carefully kept. Usually, by the time you become a real, you're losing your joints, your hair's falling out, and your fur looks shabby. But none of that matters. Once you're real, you can't be ugly, except to those who don't understand, of course. I suppose you are real. <laughs> oh. Bunny, that will do to sleep with you. But I can't. Your old bunny will 
Skin horse? Yes, rabbits. Oh, she's choking me. <laughs> yes, Bradley did that too. Go to sleep, rabbits. Don't tell me to get over it. You're saying you survived to so long? You'll get to like it, rabbit. Promise? Promise. Skin horse. She said there were real rabbits. Oh, yes, there are. I've seen them. Rabbit, you may become something better than a monk. You may become real. Me? Real? Yes, but we'll just have to wait and see. Go to sleep, Rabbit. Rabbit, I hope the magic does come to you, Rabbit. Skin horse? Yes, Rabbit. I think I'm starting to like this. What's it called? A hug, Rabbit. You're experiencing a hug. Go to sleep. And so it began, and so it went on. Rabbit grew to lust. She didn't realize how loose her hair was becoming, how shabby her fur, how loose her joints, how much pink Andrea kissed from her nose. When spring came, Andrea took Rabbit outside to play during the long, long day. Rabbit liked outside. There was lots of things for her to see and smell and feel and learn. There were rides in the wheelbarrow. Mom, Rabbit, I can't. I can't. There were picnics on the grass. Thank you. 
now, Andrea. You stay in bed.
that day on, he was not always alone. Years afterward, he became a man and married. But that is a story for grown-ups. The Jungle Book is a wonderful story, isn't it? Treating animals as if they were real. Being as kind to them as if they were people. Well, that is as people want to be treated. Yes, Mother. Mother, Rabbit's tail is here. Can you fix it? Andrea, this is just a toy. And an extremely odd one, I must say. Look, she's coming apart at the seams. Her ears are limp. And what's happened to her whiskers? Rabbit's beautiful. It's just her yeah. talent from this off. She told me before. There's no sawdust in it.
Maybe Andrea can take me downstairs with you before you go for outside. Oh, I'm sure she will. Tomorrow's soon enough for that. I'll stay with you tonight. Yes. All right, excellent. Good night, Mr. Good night, Travis. Sleep <coughs> very still, Andrea. Rabbit needs for rest. I will. I hope you'll be happy with Oh, I'm sure I will be, Andrea. Now, take care of Rabbit. She needs to be. I wasn't the least bit tired, more scared. What if Uncle Brad laughed and said, oh, get that old skin horse away from me. I have much grown up. And what if Mother laughed and said, yes, yes, it was just a thought. And what if, well, I know soon enough. I contented myself by watching Andrea and Rabbit sleep. And I thought where they would build their fairy huts the next day. I hoped it was some place with lots of ants. Rabbit liked to watch ants. Finally, I slept. It's morning, Andrea. Time to wake up. I'm awake. Andrea, you don't look well. Have you caught a chill? Nonsense. Thank you, Nana. Madam, I'll leave you to dress yourself then. Andrea didn't seem well that morning. She was shaky on her feet. She kept brushing her forehead as if she felt dizzy. I must 
then I knew Andrea's sickness had a name. <coughs> Scarlet fever. That's what it felt like to me. Red and hot. I thought it would burn us all up. Then, one day, that was good news. Fever has broken. The crisis has passed. At least, I thought it was good news. Now we have the real work to do. It's best if everyone knows what must be done. Andrea will be well? Oh, without a doubt. As long as my instructions are followed implicitly. I'll get Nana. I recommend a long stay by the seaside. Can the arrangements be made? Yes. Yes, of course. Are you the girl's father? Her uncle. Andrea's father's past on. Makes things difficult. Well, we have each other. And, and our work. And Nana. And, and Peavy, our gardener. We manage. Ah, there you are. Well, this room must be disinfected. All of the books and toys the girl played with must be burned along with her bed. Certainly, sir. Why is she going through? Dark sack. 
rabbit? That was something Skin Horse would say. You are scared of dying, rabbit. Oh. But what did that mean? And what good was it to be real if it all ended this way? Little rabbit, <coughs> you're experiencing tears. Did Skin Horse send you? Skin Horse can't send me. I answer you.
not a spider rabbit. I think so too. Come, we must make a burrow. Winter, we will howl soon. Oh, burrow. I know about burrow. Andrea told me about burrow. Exactly, Dr. Winter, brown spider rabbit. I will have a burrow. Oh, winter is cold. Which is why we must make a burrow. Have you never been cold? Well, no. You see, I lived in a warm nursery. What's a nursery? <laughs> a nursery is a place where you live with other friends and children. What's a children? <laughs> children are, well, you see, they're short people. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, one of them loves you enough to make you real. Did you have a children in your nursery? A child. One children is a child. And yes, her name was Andrea. And friends? One special friend. His name was Skin Horse. Well, perhaps you'll see that in the spring. Many wonderful things happen in the spring. But for now, you have friends in the rooms. Yes, that is true. Oh, it's cold. Come, we must get to our warm rooms. Come, have it. I'm glad you're real brown spotted rabbit. I'm glad you're real brown spotted rabbit. 